Welcome back to Introduction to Visual Art. This is a review of uh, last week's concepts and definitions. And uh, by the end, we'll be talking about uh, a review of the quiz. So chapter one uh, of the text. Ah. We spoke about form, iconography, mediums and techniques, style, subject, and content. The form refers to the totality of the composition or design, the arrangement or organization of all its visual elements. Remember this painting we talked about blue in the background, we have a figure in the front, we've got splotches of color in certain ways. So form is how the painting is organized. What we see, sort of objects that we recognize, and that's it. Iconography are objects that represent other uh, things. So we have the peace sign, we have a dove, Elvis for iconography. Mediums and techniques. The medium is what the art is made out of and the technique is how the medium is used. So in this piece the medium is chocolate and the technique is casting chocolate into a cube and then chewing it. I would say the technique of this is soft colors. Uh, it's very cool, uh, very fluid and dreamlike. The technique of this is washed out colors. Big sections of color. A big purpley area, little green, gold, and black, and it all looks like it's on top of a cream colored area. Style is the distinctive mode of expression that results from the way in which an artist handles materials. So styles are specific to the artist, but they also come in time periods and popularity. So this is uh, Impressionism. Um, this is also Impressionism. But the style of Vincent van Gogh is thick paint, defined lines, The, the brush strokes are evident. Subject matter. Subject is the what of a work of art. What we have here is a uh, young woman on her knees. She's wearing a skirt, a plaid skirt, um, a white shirt, um, Considering iconography, that looks like a school girl uniform. We have a rough warehouse floor. Those are all subject matter. Subject, we have house, splash, water, sky. So the subject matter of this artwork is the color. It is about the, you, the viewer's experience of the color and perception of it. Content is where you bring all the subject matter together and you try to logically figure out what the artwork is about. In this piece, if you remember, this is a memorial to uh, a library. Um, particularly books burned by the Nazis. So a memorial to, you know, information lost. And so you look at the texture and the doors and it, it appears to be a shadow of a library. The content of this work uh, following the subject matter. So the subject matter is women, 
Uh, I see ple peasant clothing. I see wheat in the background. Um, I see a field. So the content, uh, well, I see peasant clothing and I see women. So the content is peasant women. It looks like they're collecting scraps of wheat. In chapter two, we talked about line, shape, light, value, color, texture, space, time, and motion. Line is anything, really. Anything that is that shows a delineation between spaces or it is a drawn thing. Um, lines can be described in any way. Some of what we do talk about when we talk about lines are the measure, the types of lines, expressive qualities, contour, actual and implied, and psychological. So the measure of the line is looking at the line itself and trying to figure out, uh, if trying to describe it in any way by its length, by its width. That's the measure of a line. But lines are infinite. We have zigzags and circles and swirlies and all this. And you can use whatever word to describe the line, but it is generally necessary to describe the line. So what is the, line, the function of the line? What is it doing? Lines allow you to feel emotion in some ways so you have to you know when you look at an artwork and you wonder uh, or and it makes you feel a certain way why does it make you feel that way perhaps it is because of the organization or disorganization of the artwork this looks rather organized so I would give it an emotion of uh, ordered, um, almost clinical, precise. These are all things that I feel when I look at this artwork. On the left, I feel more chaos, more angst. On the right, I feel more ordered and calm. Contour lines are lines that follow surfaces either around the edges which would be more of an outline or going through the body of this drawing so lines that go through an object or outline it particularly those that go through the object contours of the knees as an example shadows often cast uh, they, they draw contour lines for you There are actual lines and then there are implied lines. Implied lines are elements of an artwork that come together to suggest a line. For example, this painting where you have implied lines that go from the eyes here, down the arm to the back of the baby. You've got implied lines here. It's not an actual line, but they seem to all line up, and I think you can really draw that connection. Psychological lines are lines that aren't quite implied, but there is a connection made because we are human, and we are looking for connections in artworks or between objects and images. Functions of line. Lines outline shapes. They show depth and texture. They show illusions of volume and mass. So these are outlines and shapes. Depth and texture. There are three processes for commonly used in drawing. We have stippling here hatching and cross hatching these lines uh, to show shadow are closer together here closer together the dots are closer together 
and farther apart to show highlights. Shapes can be described in almost any way. Shapes, geometric shapes, organic shapes, non-objective and abstract shapes, shapeless. Figure ground reversal, where an object looks like one thing and then you cross your eyes a little bit and suddenly you see something else. Figure ground reversal, remember the the guy with a bird? Depends on how you're looking at it, is how you see it. Famous painting uh, by Salvador Dali that shows figure ground reversal. You have the head of a figure, but it's also made by these smaller figures. Iconic shapes. Uh, these are shapes that mean something that carry cultural weight. Iconic painting, iconic shapes. This is the actual. But iconic shapes carry a lot of uh, cultural value and, and can be viewed um, in different ways or is seen again and again. And this is a painting that references the other paintings uh, but is using all kinds of other iconic shapes. That's it for the review of the chapters. All right, so here we have a review of our quiz. How do I do this? All right, first question in the quiz. Describe the form of the artwork. What are the elements? How is it organized? So. The form is how it is organized, essentially. What are the elements you're seeing? So we see five women, five women holding hands. We have blue on the top. We have green on the bottom. Iconography we see in the work. Well, I would suggest that the blue represents something like sky and the green represents something like earth though that is a little bit unclear uh, we have the women like i said holding hands and they are going in a circle uh, perhaps dancing which is common in you know different folk dances or uh, celebration dances what is the medium? Well, the medium is oil on canvas. And what is the technique? Well, the technique is um, soft brush strokes, uh, outlined objects. There isn't a lot of definition or clarity. Um, and I would say it's not very precise. It, there's a lot of, it seems a little sloppy in some places. Okay, so think about the form, iconography, and technique of the artwork. In one sentence, what is the subject matter of the artwork? Again, the subject matter is um, five women dancing on 
what may be a hill top. Do you see contour lines? Yes. I see contour lines around the edges. They're mostly outlines, but through the body, through the butt, through the face, contour lines. I even see contour lines on the green area around here. In your own words, describe the lines. Zigzag, parallel, repeating, actual, implied. These were all suggested uh, Oh, words or words that you could have possibly used. Um, I want to know. Uh, I, I I just wanted you to really describe them, like in the question. So I would say organic, lots of organic lines. The lines are thicker in some places, thinner in others. I do want to suggest that the lines show movement. They suggest that the figures are, in fact, in motion. And that has to do with how jagged the lines are um, and how, how fast they appear to have been painted on there. How do the lines make you feel? I know that this is a personal um, response, so I'm going to give you my personal answer. And my personal uh, answer is the lines, I find the lines calming. I don't really find them uh, aggressive. I, I feel like everything's in motion and movement and the lines hint that I am getting a glimpse of an action, so I, I feel like a, like a voyeur or some sort of outside observer. That's it for <coughs> that's it for the review of the quiz and of the uh, of chapters one and two. Go ahead and watch uh, the video for chapter three next.